Chronicling America is a research tool created through a partnership between the National Endowment for the Humanities and the Library of Congress. It allows you to search nearly 4,000 newspapers printed between 1777 and 1963. This video will teach you how to do an advanced search. Let's assume you are researching people who opposed Adolf Hitler's rise to power. You want to look at the time period from January 1933, when he became Germany's chancellor, to the start of World War II in 1939. First, let's go to chroniclingamerica.loc.gov. You might begin with a basic search, adding in keywords and dates. You could set the date range from 1933 to 1939 and use Hitler and Germany as search terms. Clicking go shows over 6,000 articles, definitely too many. For better results, click on the advanced search tab. Since you wanna see all US coverage, leave all states and all newspapers selected. On the right-hand side, you can choose your time frame. Here you have the option to select years or a more specific date range. Here you can select exact start and end dates from the pop-up calendars in the from and to boxes. Since Hitler was appointed on January 30th, 1933, let's begin on January 31st, 1933. Since you're interested in the earliest examples of opposition, focus on the first week and select an end date of February 6th, 1933. The next section, Limit Search, located under the state and newspaper boxes, lets you select front page or an exact page. For our search, this won't help us, so we'll skip it. Right below, you can choose a specific language. If you spoke German and wanted information on the German-American perspective, you might use this, but right now we'll ignore it. Under Language, there is an Enter Search section. In the basic search, you use the terms Hitler and Germany, which displayed every article that included either word. This first box, which says with any of the words, does the same. Since you wanna narrow your search, let's consider some other ways to search. The with all of the words function is useful when there are multiple words that could be relevant to your search, and it will generally lead to a higher number of results. Moving on, the middle option is with all of the words. If you include multiple words, you'll only see articles containing every word you typed. You might use Hitler and Germany here since useful articles will probably include both. The third option is labeled with the phrase. Here, if you enter multiple words, the results will contain every word listed exactly as you typed them. This is useful if you're looking for someone's full name or a book title. Finally, with the words, let you insert terms and choose how close to each other you want them. This can be helpful if there are several ways of saying something. Consider relations between Germany and the United States and Germany's relationship with the United States. So for our search, let's use the date range option to select a week long period and with all of the words and the any word filters to set our search terms. Now, clicking search shows 99 results with lots of highlights. This will be much more helpful than the basic search results. Let's click on the first article. It's from January 31st, 1933, and was published in a Washington DC paper. The headline is German Reds Urge General Strike as Anti-Hitler Move, Riots Widespread. This was published on the front page of the paper and was seen as a major event. The first section says that the police violently broke up the protests and confiscated flyers and pamphlets the protesters were distributing. The next section, titled Street Fight in Breslau, describes already violent demonstrations. The reporter wrote that authorities were scared and uncertain about the effects of the proposed anti-Hitler strike. It also described the Nazis as jubilant, and laborers as sullen and agitated. Since the article continues on page two, click the next page button. Here it's reported that throngs flocked the streets last night showing their resentment. 
and quotes socialists for calling for, quote, a cold-blooded reserve of unity and determination in their resistance. The article describes the initial resistance within Germany and the swift and violent reaction to it. It offers details about the protests in 1933 and how the public reacted to them. As you research, consider using the advanced search feature to leverage the power of the vast and growing resource of Chronicling America for your NHD project. 